Hello, I'm Caitlin from Cooking with Caitlin, and I'm here on behalf of the National Dairy Council talking lactose intolerance friendly dairy recipes. National Dairy Council is committed to helping everyone meet the recommended three servings a day of dairy, including those with lactose intolerance, as recommended by the 2010 Dietary Guidelines for Americans. Dairy foods such as milk, cheese, and yogurt can be part of a healthy and sustainable diet. They deliver a powerhouse of nutrients and unique health benefits in an appealing, affordable, and readily available way, unmatched by many other foods. Today I'm going to be showcasing how a variety of cheeses can be used in everyday cooking. While lactose intolerance is a very individual condition, many people who experience lactose intolerance can still consume dairy foods in varying amounts or types. For instance, some individuals may be able to tolerate small amounts of softer cheeses when paired with other foods. And natural hard cheeses like cheddar, Colby, Monterey Jack, mozzarella, and Swiss are lactose intolerance friendly because they contain minimal amounts of lactose. Today we're going to make spinach stuffed pasta shells. It's a great go-to dish for entertaining but easy enough to make anytime. This recipe features three delicious cheeses. These cheeses include low-fat cottage cheese, low-fat parmesan, a natural aged cheese, and low-fat ricotta cheese which adds a creamy texture. You could also substitute lactose-free cottage cheese in this recipe. This recipe contains one and a half grams of lactose per serving. People with lactose intolerance can often tolerate up to 12 grams of lactose at a time without significant discomfort, particularly when taken with other foods. For reference, one eight ounce glass of milk contains 12 grams of lactose. To start, I've preheated the oven to 375 degrees and have a large pot of water boiling for the shells. As the shells boil, we can prepare the filling. In a large saute pan, warm the olive oil over medium heat and saute two cloves of garlic. Add 10 ounces of fresh spinach to the pan, toss to coat, and cook until wilted. Next, add two tablespoons fresh basil and season with salt, pepper, and a dash of nutmeg. Drain any extra moisture. Now we mix the drained cottage cheese, ricotta, red pepper flakes, two eggs in a food processor and mix to a uniform consistency. I've lined a roasting pan with a thin layer of marinara in preparation for the next part. Stuff the cooked shells with the spinach and cheese filling and place in the roasting pan. Ladle more marinara over the top of the entire pan and cover with aluminum foil. Bake at 375 degrees for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, remove the foil, adjust the oven temperature to 400 degrees, and bake for an additional 15 minutes. Serve hot with extra marinara sauce on the side and grated parmesan over top. This is a great make-ahead meal and can freeze very easily. The filling can easily be used for stuffing manicotti, as a layer for lasagna, just tossed with pasta, or even as a dip. Lactose intolerance friendly cooking with your favorite dairy foods can be really easy. A favorite breakfast dish is roasted pineapple stuffed French toast, featuring lactose-free dairy milk and low-fat cottage cheese. And a great snack with minimal lactose is cheddar puffs with tomato jam. For these recipes and other lactose intolerance friendly dairy recipes, as well as healthy solutions for living with lactose intolerance, visit nationaldairycouncil.org. Also be sure to follow them on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest.